And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, The Secret World of Ariadne. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! Would you mind if I borrowed some spoilers? There's this little girl named Arietti. Only I don't mean little like she's very young. More like she's the size of Danny DeVito's testicle. And she lives with other Danny DeVito testicles inside this really nice house where they borrow things. Well, not really borrow them, implies you give it back. I'm not really sure how you borrow sugar, eat it, and then give it back. Oh, actually, there is one way, but you wouldn't like it. So Arietti comes across this sick boy, and she's like, Aren't you afraid of me? No. Why not? It's a Miyazaki film. We're never surprised by anything. Two girls rode inside a cat that was a bus and that barely got a reaction. Miyazaki's weird! Yes, but he is awesome. Awesome! But because they were seen by the boy, they suddenly have to move? And Arietti is like, why do we have to move? Because that boy saw us. So Miyazaki wrote it, so the boy won't care! No, there are so few of us that we cannot take the risk of being found out by the human beings. You know, Dad, we always say that in movies, but what if we did just go to the human beings? They could use their science and technology to find out if there's more, we could befriend them, we could exchange things. As long as we say we're an endangered species and helping us would be going green, nobody would ever touch us! No, closed-minded refusal to understand others is the best way to go! You're a tool. I know. But the girl can't help but keep up her relationship with the boy! It's kind of like Twilight, only we give a crap! But then we find out that the little boy is dying, ooh! You're dying? Yes. However, I am going through an operation. They say there's a very slim chance that it could help- You live, don't you? How'd you know that? Anytime a character's going through an operation, they always come out okay. Not always. Name five! Okay, shut the hell up, bitch! But it turns out that evil housekeeper finds one of the borrowers! So she borrows her! <laughs> and puts her in a jar. She also locks the boy in a room because that's what a good housekeeper does to dying kids. But Arietti helps him get out and they save the mother. And the housekeeper is like, no, really, there were little people here. Sure there were. I also made a living by making people laugh by pulling my ear. Sure you did. I'm fired, aren't I? Yes, you are. So the boy says goodbye to Arietti as she goes off with her family. And we're left wondering if the little boy will ever survive his operation. Oh wait, he does. Well, we're off to see all the other powers that exist in this world. Oh, I guess that's it. Funny, I thought there'd be a little bit more to this movie. Like, how the kid's dealing with almost dying, or all the other places that the Bowers come across, their new home, the animals they try to fight off. They talk about all the dangers of the world, and the only thing they come across is Carol Burnett as a dwarf? Granted, that's a little frightening, but I expected more! Oh, well, Arietti is still a great movie! It teaches us so much, like... If you see little people, you're not necessarily on drugs. <laughs> Something I really need to hear. This is just a reboom saying, Change! You got change! I oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Come on, I'll use it to make a live action version with John Goodman. It'll be a huge hit!